Eric Ten Hag plans to bring three major signings to Manchester United. Marcus Rashford and Harry Maguire set to stay despite rumours they could be leaving. Bruno Fernandes is highly rated by Ten Hag and Eric Ten Hag has told Cristiano Ronaldo he wants them to stay at Manchester United and he will be key. And when Eric Ten Hag was asked about those comments today, he did not deny them. So let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's talk about some of the leaked reports coming out about Cristiano Ronaldo, some of the news around Ronaldo. And actually, I want to get into some comments that Roy Keane has said about Ronaldo, Ronaldo staying and everything going on with Ronaldo. And I think we can all agree there's a lot of people out there that um, owe Cristiano Ronaldo an apology. There's a lot of leaks where players have been quite disrespectful to Cristiano Ronaldo. And we're going to be just dissecting that and talking about that in today's video and a little bit of transfer news on the side. But what I will say before I get into any of that, is Edison Cavani basically came out and said, oh, he likes that we've signed Ronaldo, but if he knew Ronaldo was going to come to Man United, he wouldn't have stayed. It really infuriates me that Edison Cavani comes out and said, oh, if I knew Ronaldo was coming, I wouldn't have stayed at United. Why are you saying that, Cavani? It really infuriates me about these elite reports that players don't want Ronaldo here. And, you know, certain players haven't been treating Ronaldo really well. And it, it just annoys me how disrespected he's been by the media, some of the fans, some of the players, and the overall club. Because right now... I'm going to get into Roy Keane's comments, but right now he's one of the only things positive about this club. Roy Keane has said, if you put Ronaldo in the Liverpool side, he will get you more goals than Salah. But if you put Salah in this Man United side, would Salah get 18 goals? I don't think so. That's where Ronaldo's ability to constantly perform in struggling teams is out of this world. And Roy Keane absolutely is spot on when he said that. You know, the disrespect Ronaldo's got finished. Ronaldo's disrupted Manchester United. Ronaldo's the problem. You know, all these reports that were saying that Ronaldo disrupted this Manchester United side, Ronaldo disrupted this dressing room, Ronaldo's the problem. If anything, it highlights that Ronaldo is not the problem. And actually, some of the players that don't like Ronaldo's presence in the dressing room and are angry with Ronaldo's presence in the dressing room and those players complaining that Ronaldo's criticising them are actually the problem at this club. Because if Cristiano Ronaldo criticises you, you should take that as constructive criticism and you should want to improve. You shouldn't be going to the media going, Ronaldo said this about me, I don't like him. How dare Ronaldo criticise me? Because Ronaldo's won every single thing that is to win at Manchester United. So Cristiano Ronaldo has every single right to criticise you. Roy Keane says he cannot imagine Ronaldo not at Manchester United next season. Every manager would want to work with Ronaldo. And it seems that Ten Hag wants to work with Ronaldo. When you look at how bad we've been underperforming and... You know, whether Ronaldo and Hay are really Ten Hag style of players, they're probably players that Ten Hag won't want to get rid of right away because they're one of the only ones that have been performing. And Roy Keane said he still really does love watching Ronaldo. And apparently Roy Keane even said if you had Ronaldo at Chelsea, he'd score you 50 goals. Because Chelsea create a lot of chances, but they've, you know, they've got Lukaku, who, you know, at the beginning of the season, so many people were saying Lukaku's going to outscore Ronaldo, Lukaku's better than Ronaldo now and all of that. And... I mean, I mean, this season, a lot of people owe Ronaldo apology. The problem, the disrespect, the leaks, it absolutely infuriates me. The media have spoken about Ronaldo this season, blaming him. You know, Ronaldo and De Gea at Man United have got more criticism than probably Rashford and Maguire this season. And, uh, you know, Ronaldo and De Gea have been levels ahead of them. You know, Ronaldo's finished. Uh, Man United needs to sell Ronaldo. Ronaldo's made United worse. You know, I just think all the disrespect he's had from the media some of the ex-players, the current players at United. And even what really infuriates me is the fact that Maguire's captain, then he gives it to Bruno, not Ronaldo. I think that's quite disrespectful of, of Ralph Rangnick not to give Ronaldo captaincy. And I really do like Ralph Rangnick. And, you know, I think Ralph Rangnick's done a lot of things right, but I don't think Ralph Rangnick's been totally respectful of Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, all Ronaldo gets is sort of negative attention. All give Maguire captain, give Bruno captain. Just give Ronaldo the armband. And if you agree with me, hit that like button. And this takes me to a quote that Sir Alex Ferguson said in 2012, um, and it's 10 years later. And 10 years ago, Sir Alex Ferguson said that Lionel Messi is a system player. He's a Barcelona product. Cristiano Ronaldo could score a hat-trick for any team in the world. Ronaldo could play for QPR, Millwall, and he'd still score a hat-trick. Sir Alex said, I'm not sure Messi can do that. And look, 10 years later, um, despite playing in probably the worst United side we've had ever, Ronaldo scoring a hat-trick at 37 in the hardest league in the world and probably the worst United side we have ever and it just tells you everything you need to know about Ronaldo and his mentality and his work rate and everything that he's not the problem and you know Ronaldo actually has more Champions League goals six than Messi has goals in the Ubi League, Eats League four but for some reason the criticism of Messi always got he's getting assists always fine it's his you know he, he has a season to gel in and the criticism of Ronaldo is is mad because Ronaldo's older, playing for a worse side in a harder league and outperforming Messi. But 
is probably getting more criticism than Messi from the media, which I always think is mad. Talking of the media, we've got some transfer news to get into. And before I even get into the transfer news, I just want to say something about the English media. The thing that really annoys me is the bias to English players, but also we overhype English players so much. Declan Rice has two years left on his West Ham contract and he's been quoted at between 130 to 150 million pounds. Chiamini has two years left on his contract and he's been quoted at 50 million pounds. For some reason, Declan Rice is worth three times more than Chiamini. You know, Camavinga costs 30 million euros, but if you want Declan Rice, you should probably spend 150 million euros. You know, these English people, this English bias, this English... It's crazy. Why are English players so expensive? Greenish, 100 million. That just madness. I, I don't get it. And I just think, what on earth? Do you, do you know what I mean? But look, we're not going to get Declan Rice. We're not in the Champions League and Declan Rice wants Chelsea. But United will get a CDM. Samuel Lucas has said that defensive midfield has been earmarked as Manchester United's priority position this summer. And Ralph Rennick has, assigned, has advised United to also sign two forwards. The club is interested in recruiting a centre-back as well and open to an upgrade at full-back. I believe that Manchester United's number one priority is CDM followed by striker, followed by either a right winger or a centre-back. And then I think maybe we'll be looking at cheap full-backs. But I think we'll sign four players um i think that we'll have three biggest signings which will be a cdm a striker and probably a right wing or center back and then we might bring in an unknown center back if we spend 50 million on anthony we could bring in someone like ndika from frankfurt or we could bring in someone like julian tim because he could cover full back and center back uh eric Bailly is set to leave as i said phil jones is set to leave harry Maguire is, is set to stay i think with buying jones leaving Maguire won't go rashford is set to stay however he wants guaranteed game time which to be fair is understandable but rashford's mentality should be i love united new manager fresh chance i'm going to show him what i can do and all of that uh but an interesting story that's come out today about a striker that united could be interested in is actually a, a guy from remis called hugo etike probably haven't said his name right who will be available for 15 million euros in the summer hto that watches a lot of football said that he's a raw but good talent i would be happy with him being a rotational young number nine for next year has almost everything needed for a nine solid movement tenacious good thirst uh time finishing holds up the ball but his physicality and link up play and heading need improvement young striker could be a good option for manchester united because we do need two strikers so maybe we get an expensive one and get someone like him in and see if we can mold him through with maybe the assistance of ronaldo if he stays and there's more and more reports suggesting that cristiano ronaldo will stay at manchester united ten Hag wants him ten Hag wants him involved you know if if ronaldo's wanted by ten Hag, are people saying he'll stay i think ronaldo won't make his mind up to the end of the season i don't think he's thinking about that but if Ronaldo stays and plays in the Europa League with us, you know, you, you can't fault his mentality. I don't think you can ever fault Ronaldo's mentality, but there's a lot of players that need to be taking a lesson from Ronaldo because there's a lot of Man United players that don't want to be here and think they're too good to play in the Europa League. But if Cristiano Ronaldo, who's won it all, would sacrifice the season to play in the Europa League with Manchester United. It sets an example to some of the bigger egos in the club thinking it's not their fault we're going to be in Europa League next season and it's actually this player's fault and this player's fault and this player's fault. And, the, and other, another interesting report that's come out talking of CDM is that Conrad Lay is interested in playing in the Premier League uh, with Manchester United interested in the player and that's come out from Bild who's quite reliable when it comes to sources from the Bundesliga and I will say Declan Rice unachievable, Chiamene probably Liverpool bound, uh, you look at a lot of the CDM options, Neves he doesn't really suit Ten Hag's style of play and Neves and, and Bruno and Phil probably would have complement each other, Carlton Phillips unless the Leeds get relegated can't see it happening and maybe someone like Lehmer with Ralph Rannick connections is something that United would do let me know your thoughts down below i will be back tomorrow guys for a manchester united versus brighton watch along um so yeah make sure you subscribe back for a watch along and match reaction to united versus brighton tomorrow there probably won't be any live stream tonight if there's any breaking news i'll do another video tonight but i, I don't think there will be any breaking news uh but i know rashford's going to be out for the match tomorrow uh sancho's out just loads of players are out let me know your thoughts in the comments see you later